Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I encapsulate dried flowers in Gel X. If you're interested to see how I got these beautiful, gorgeous nails, then continue watching. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is size out the tip. I'm using the natural square medium from Gel X and I'm also going to use one of these tip stands and I'm going to place my tip backwards. So when you're doing press-ons, we usually place them this way, but this time we're going to place them like so, so the well is facing, facing us and that's where we're going to encapsulate. So I do like encapsulating inside of the tip rather than on top but i will come out with a tutorial of how you can do that on top if you prefer that so once i have that tip right where i want it and it's like nice and secure i'm gonna go ahead and place this onto the side next i'm going to prepare my little triangle dish with all of the stuff i want to use so i am going to be encapsulating encapsulating dried flowers and I really wanted it to be like a pink and springy looking um, you know look so I'm just going to grab a purple flower as I already have encapsulated a pink one and I'm just going to be using these little flowers that I got off of Amazon I'm just gonna grab tweezers to pull them out just because I find it that's a little bit easier so I'm going to grab a purple flower and I'm also going to grab a pink fuchsia looking um, round flower for the accents so I'm just gonna grab a little of that dark fuchsia like that I'm also going to use some gold foil this should be enough of it so I'm just going to break that apart I'm also going to go ahead and break this apart as well. I also want to use some Mylar flakes. So these are just like purple, pinkish toned um, because I just feel like this is going to add that extra oomph to the nail. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that and also placing this on here. And the reason I'm doing this all on here is just because it's so easy, because it's easier for me to just see it and grab what I want. I'm also gonna grab this little greenery leaf thing and I'm going to break little bits of this one off too because I want to use some greenery, obviously. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of setting up like a mood board kind of thing, but in this dish. So whatever I want to use. Now I don't have to use all of it, but this is pretty much my idea which is why I'm going to just have it all here nice and ready for me all right so once I have all of this ready I'm going to move that to the side and I'm going to get going and prep my tip so for the tip I'm going to use the gel x prep um, the tip prep you can definitely go in with a nail file or a nail drill and etch out that surface but I just found recently that ever since I have gotten this little product I enjoy it so much more so since we are going to be covering the whole nail we are going to etch out the whole entire nail usually if you're just applying them you are going to etch out whatever is going to be touching your natural nail but in this case this whole thing needs to be prepped because we're going to be placing gel on the whole thing and encapsulating all of these things in like that so once it looks nice and matte to me i know it is prepped that looks pretty good to me then i'm going to go ahead and grab the extend gel the praise gel extend gel and i'm going to apply a very very thin layer of that on the back and I don't want this to be a thick layer it's just going to be super thin just so everything can hold on to it and the more gel I have the more risks I run into developing air bubbles once I place all of these elements on there which is something that we do want to avoid we don't want air bubbles next I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to grab that big main purple flower as my main one 
and I'm not gonna place it exactly in the middle because that's what we did on one of the nails already. So I'm gonna off center it a little bit and kind of put it towards the top this time. And then I'm going to then grab these little pink bits and start by just placing those in there as well. So you don't, you want to pick out the nicer bits so they look, you know, nice. There's going to be some that just look a little bit too blob-like, which I'm not gonna be using those ones, obviously. Then I'm going to grab some of that greenery with some of that foil and just start layering it. You know, you want to layer it because the more layers there's going to be, the more I feel nicer it looks. I'm gonna add a little green leaf right there as well. Then I'm going to add some of these, um, some of the gold foils just to fill in the spots. Again, we have so many elements that we're placing in here, so you do want to keep that in mind. So you want to keep everything nice and thin and like really pressed down. You don't want anything to be lifting. So before curing, I do go over everything a couple times. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these Mylar flakes and I'm going to place them in places where I feel like need a little bit more something just to make sure they're all nice and full. Because I don't want, I do want it to be like sparse, but because I'm using Mylar flakes, they're already so transparent that it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna fill the gaps up with that. And before curing, I do recommend you just taking it off of the little stand and looking at it in perspective and seeing how it actually looks and going back and fixing or adding whatever you think it needs. And then I'm just going to take it off of that little stand and see how it looks. I actually really like that. I think it looks super springy. But as I can see, there's a little bit of an air bubble in the purple. So I'm just going to squish it down a little bit more and try my best to get rid of that air bubble. And usually just by squeezing it, you'll get rid of it. Okay, next I do have my little flash cure lamp ready on the side it's just not going to fit in frame and i'm just going to make sure that everything is pressed nicely down and i'm going to cure it once i'm happy with it so do not cure this until you're happy with how it looks but as soon as you're happy with how it looks make sure you give it a nice flash cure so i'm just going to go in while i'm squeezing and pressing on that big flower because I want it to not have any air bubbles. And as I'm flash curing it, I am pressing down just to make sure everything is exactly where I want it. Everything is sticking exactly where I want it to be sticking. So after like 10 seconds or so, I'm done flash curing it. I'm going to see, and as you can see, it looks so good. I'm in love with how this turned out. Now we're going to use the exact same steps to apply this as we would for any other Gel X extension because it is so sh like clear, it can be stuck on by the Extend Gel itself. So that's what we're going to do. Next, I'm just grabbing my Extend Gel and I'm placing that on the tip just so I can attach it to my nail. All right, so once I have that tip on, I am going to grab a top coat, a no wipe top coat, and I'm going to top coat the back side of it just because we have extend gel on the whole entire nail. So then before filing, I'm just going to quickly top coat that. I'm going to make sure that I'm avoiding my skin at all times because I do not want to develop any contact dermatitis or any allergies so I'm going to be really careful and if I do get anything on my skin I'm going to clean it up before I cure. Alright so I went ahead and applied tips on the rest of my nails so I can go ahead and file. So I'm just going to grab an 8080 grip file and I'm going to start by reshaping them and making them more flush to my natural nails. Next, I'm going to grab my sanding band that I use to prep my nails and I'm going to go around the cuticles and make those flush. All right, so I'm done filing and shaping my nails and for the other 
nails, I'm going to do Crocus Lavender from D&D. I just think this is going to tie in all of the purples, which is why I did so much purple because I already knew I was going to do a lavender. And this is the one I chose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my nails with two coats of this. And then I will come back to do a top coat reveal and see how they look. So I went ahead and painted my nails with that lavender color and I think they look super beautiful. But I did want to come on here and leave the two floral nails to top coat together just so we can get a nice reveal. So I went ahead and applied some cuticle oil on all my nails and I'm so happy with how they came out. This is how I encapsulate in Gel X. I like to do them from underneath. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Gel X content, please let me know. Until next time, bye.